She is the greatest of all time. And this year, she made history again. We talk to the sixth time fittest woman on earth next on Athlete Spotlight. Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Athlete Spotlight presented by Monster Hydro. On today's edition, we focus on the sixth time fittest woman on earth, Tia Toomey. Now, calling her the best of all time is not only accurate, but right now it's probably an understatement. Toomey has had an unprecedented run in the women's competition. In her eight trips to the CrossFit Games, she has never finished lower than second. She has won more games events than any other individual athlete, and she is now the sixth time fittest woman on earth. Toomey has won every single in-person competition she's entered since finishing second at the 2017 Pacific Regional. That was also the first year she won the CrossFit Games. Toomey is a three-time Rogue Invitational Champion, winning that competition every year it has been held. She has also represented Australia at the 2016 Summer Olympics in weightlifting and was in the running to be part of her country's bobsled team at the 2022 Winter Games. Now, over the last six years, Tia Toomey has left an indelible mark on the sport of CrossFit. That's what happens when you win six straight championships. And while Toomey is a dominant presence on the competitive landscape now, that was not the case when she first started. Even though the signs were there, not many people saw the dominant run that was on the horizon after her first appearance in Carson at the CrossFit Games. Nine women have won the CrossFit Games. Each embodied the pinnacle of fitness each redefined the capabilities of an elite athlete, and each moved the sport of CrossFit forward. But only one shattered what we thought it meant to be a champion and set a new standard for dominance. Tia Claire Tui. It's usually easy to spot greatness in any athlete. That was not the case with Toomey. When the woman from Queensland made her CrossFit Games debut in 2015, nobody expected her to finish anywhere near the top of the standings. But after a strong finish, Toomey found herself with a silver medal around her neck. In 2016, everyone was watching Tia Toomey, and everyone saw the greatness that was simmering below the surface begin to emerge. Toomey would finish inside the top 10 in 10 of the 15 events, she would also win two of them, and she would come up short once again. Your 2016 Reebok CrossFit Games champion is Katrin Davidson! For the second straight year, Toomey found herself in second place. It would not happen again. In 2017, the contender became a champion. She's struggling to finish it off. the way that she knew that she wanted to end it. She wanted to end it winning it clearly, and that she wanted to clear and make sure it's known that, hey, I didn't just win that. I'm going to show you again in 2018. Tia Toomey would never finish second at an in-person competition again. She would unleash a string of dominant performances that quickly established her as a sure thing. For the next four years, if Tia Toomey showed up, she was winning. The two greatest of all time stand alone. They are the fittest on earth and the fittest in history. And she became just the second person in CrossFit Games history to win five straight in 2021. For the fifth straight time, Tia Toomey is the fittest woman on earth. In 2022, Tia Toomey found herself chasing another milestone. 
A sixth straight title of fittest on earth would cement her as the greatest individual competitor of all time in the sport of CrossFit. But a new generation of young athletes would push her to her limits. Oh and Tia my goodness. does not move on. But over five days of competition and 13 events, Toomey showed the world why she deserved to stand alone as the greatest of all time. Move over Matt, step aside Rich. For the sixth time, Tia Toomey is the fittest woman on earth. While nobody could have imagined that in 2015, everyone can see it coming in 2022. Because greatness is easy to see when it's right in front of you. Tia Toomey just won her sixth straight CrossFit Games. She also won the Torian Pro Semi-Final. She was the only woman to win every single event at a semi-final competition. And I spoke with her about how she's been able to be so successful for so long. Tia Toomey, Tia, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. When did you know that you wanted to be a professional athlete? You know what, that definitely wasn't really on the radar. Um, it, it's never really been the the goal per se, but I do remember when I was a little girl growing up, I always, you know, wanted to, you know, pursue a sport that, you know, made me happy and, and something that allowed me to, you know, dedicate my life to. When did you know that you actually had a chance of achieving that goal? For me, I guess, you know, coming coming second back in 2015, that definitely was a bit of a wake up call to say, you know, hey Tia, like you, you can do this. You know, you're not just being a participant. Winning was never really on a radar back then. I love training. I love the sport of CrossFit and just being at the CrossFit Games. I mean, it was less than 12 months before that. I didn't even know what the CrossFit Games were. So actually being there competing against such incredible athletes, that's probably where I realized like, hey, if, if I actually had the intent and, and kind of went for it, um, you know, I, I could really do some damage. Speaking of 2015, when you first showed up to Carson, California, was there a moment, and if so, what was it, where you said, oh, wow, this is like, I'm really here. Uh, it would actually be the interview. You interviewed me. <laughs> I remember that. Bright lights in my face, this freaking incredible voice coming to me. You know, it was probably at that moment when, you know, there was cameras, lights, and it was pretty much action at that point. Very different to anything that I'd ever experienced before and very different to what I'd signed up for. Uh, I just signed up to go over to America to have a holiday and work out for a week. I'm, I'm, I actually remember specifically saying, you know, we went to regionals and Shane's like, look, I just want a holiday. So let's just like qualify so that we can have an excuse to go to America. And, uh, and from there, that was the motivation ever, ever, every year. I know it's hard to pick your favorite one. It's like picking your favorite kid, but is there one championship that stands out the most to you and, and what would it be? Every championship, I think, has had its own meaning and its own speciality um, to it. You know, 2020 was a pretty special year. It was such a unique year. It was a very long year. And, you know, I, I think that there was a lot of adversity that we faced throughout that season. So to kind of come through it on top, it was reassurance that, hey, you know, I, I didn't waste my time. You know, I did exactly what I needed to, and that definitely helped. And then obviously to my very first win back in 2017, that was a very special year. Crossing the finish line and being announced and just, you know, giving Shane a, a hug. Finally, a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. So yeah, I mean, I could say it's something about every year, but yeah, they were very special years. And of course, uh, last year, Finally, my, my parents were able to be right there next to Shane at the very end of the finish line. And just to be able to embrace their hug after I fully completed it, that was also a very special moment. Who is someone that you either look up to now or have looked up to in the past who had a, a pretty big influence on you throughout your life? I probably have to say, you know, my mom. I, I think that she she's been able to show me a lot of different things in life, you know, through throughout her experiences and how she's 
you know, overcome a lot of things and being able to watch her and understand what the true definition of hard work is. I mean, that woman, she's the hardest worker on the planet. I've never seen anyone work as hard as that woman. And obviously that's a very biased opinion, but she has definitely done the impossible. And, um, you know, I think that that's been a huge inspiration and a huge factor of, you know, when, when the times get tough for me, I just think about, you know, how she's overcome a lot of things and, and how she's handled it. Tia, thanks again for taking the time to do this. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Athlete Spotlight presented by Monster Hydro. I'm Sean Woodland, and we'll see you next time.